হ্যালো এভরিবডি ওয়েলকাম ব্যাক টু মাই নলেজ একাডেমি চ্যানেল আই এম মিঠু দে পাবলিক হেলথ নার্সিং অফিসার প্রিভিয়াসলি আই হ্যাভ ডান ওয়ান ভিডিও রিগার্ডিং ইন্ডিকেটরস অফ হেলথ হোয়ার আই হ্যাভ ডিসকাস দ্য মিনিং অফ দ্য ইন্ডিকেটরস অফ হেলথ ইম্পর্টেন্স ক্যারেক্টারিস্টিক্স টাইপস অফ দ্য ইন্ডিকেটরস অফ হেলথ হু হ্যাভ নট সিন দিস ভিডিও টিল নাও প্লিজ গো থ্রু দিস ভিডিও ফর ইউর বেটার আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ডিং লিঙ্ক ইজ গিভেন ইন দ্য ডেসক্রিপশন বক্স প্লিজ পুট ইউর ভ্যালুয়েবল ওপিনিয়ন ইন দ্য কমেন্ট বক্স আওয়ার টুডেস টপিক ইজ মর্টালিটি ইন্ডিকেটরস মর্টালিটি ইন্ডিকেটর ইজ আ ভাইটাল টাইপ অফ ইন্ডিকেটরস অফ দ্য হেলথ সো লেটস গো দিস ভিডিও ইজ দ্য সেকেন্ড পার্ট অফ ইন্ডিকেটরস অফ হেলথ আন্ডার দ্য চ্যাপ্টার অফ কনসেপ্ট অফ হেলথ অ্যান্ড ডিজিজেস অ্যান্ড টুডেস টপিক ইজ মর্টালিটি ইন্ডিকেটরস mortality indicators at first we should know what is mortality and the mortality rate mortality means the state of being subject to death that means the condition of being mortal and death is the final common outcome of any health problems and the mortality rate it is a measure of the frequency of occurrence of death in a defined population during a specified interval that means it measure how many number of the death occurs in an area in a certain time period and it is commonly measured within 1000 or 1 lakh population and mortality is the basic component of the population change because population increase or decrease depends on the mortality rate because population decrease population decrease for the mortality and if the mortality rate increase then the population decreases so much so it is a basic component of the population change it determines the changing trends of the health status because mortality rate was increased when medical science was not advanced but when we use advanced technologies then mortality rate is decreases so much health status is then improved so it determine the changing trends of the health status and next it provides a snapshot of the current health problems as per example at the present time in the covid uh, emergency mortality rate is high in a specific time period in a certain area it indicates the uh, one emergency or any accident or any epidemics so it gives a vivid pictures of the current health problems it provides a snapshot of the current health problems it uses it uses it can be used to compare the rates of one area with the rates of another area or to compare rates over time different times it compare in the different times or it compares in one area that means uh, developed area developing area or within the developed area or within the developing uh, countries uh, it compares uh, the rates and mortality statistics provide a valuable measure for assessing the community health status crude death rate crude death rate means the total number of the death in a area and in a year by media estimated population the numerator is the total number of the death and denominator is the media estimated population into 1000 if we calculate the crude death rate in an area and a year suppose the total number of the death that means the frequency of that area and that year suppose 100 divided by it is the numerator and divided by the denominator is the media estimated population suppose 10,000 into 1000 equal to 10 10 per 1000 population so the crude death rate of that area is 10 per 1000 
population. Overall improvement in the health of the population, it indicates the crude death rate is the lower or crude death rate decrease. Decrease crude death rate means the overall improvement of the health of the population. It does not specify the age groups, sex or cause of the death. So, it is called the crude death rate, not the specific death rate. It has advantage and the limitation. Advantage is the an easy to use indicator because it does not specify the age group, sex groups or the cause of the death. So, it is easy to collect and easy to use indicator. And limitation, it is not appropriate for comparison of the different population or the areas because it does not specify the age group, sex and the cause of the death. So, it is not appropriate for compare. And I have collected the SRS data up to 2019. So, according to SRS, death rate in India in 2019 is 6 per 1000 population. Age specific death rate. Age specific death rate is a mortality rate limited to a particular age group and it is defined as the total number of the death in a specific age group in an area and a year by total population of the same age group in the same area and the year into 1000. Here the numerator is the total number of the death in a specific age group. Specific age group means it may be um, 10 years, it may be 15 years, it may be 10 to 15 years, it may be 60 years, it may be 70 years, whatever may be the numerator is the total number of the death in a specific age group. By the denominator is the total number of the persons of that same age group in that same area and the same year into 1000. If we compute the a specific death rate of 10 years children. So, suppose in an area and a year total number of the death 12 of 10 years children by total number of the persons of that same age group that means 10 years children total number of the 10 years children in that same area and the same year uh, are the 2000, 2000 into 1000. So, 6, 6 per 1000. So, the A specific death rate of 10 years children is 6 per 1000 in that same area and the same year. Infant mortality rate. Infant mortality rate is the total infant death in an area and a year by total live birth in that same area and the year into 1000. Always mind that the denominator is a total live birth, it is not the total birth. If we calculate the IMR uh, in an area and a year, suppose the total infant death in an area and a year 20, but total live birth in that same area and the, that year 2000 into 1000 equal to 10 per 1000 live birth, live birth. So, IMR of that area and that year is 10 per 1000 live birth. I have collected some data uh, about uh, IMR that is the current IMR for India in 2021 is 28.771 per 1000 live birth. And the IMR for India in 2020 was 29.848 for 1000 live birth. And I have collected SRS data up to 2019. So, according to SRS, IMR for India in 2019 was 30 per 1000 live birth. It is the most universally accepted indicator of the health status and it is also an important indicator of overall physical health of a community. And high IMR, high IMR indicate the unmet human health needs in the sanitation, medical care, nutrition, education, etc. And it also reflect the 
availability, utilization and the effectiveness of the MCH services. It that means it shows the quality and the adequate MCI services provided or not. As well as MCI services 24 hours available or part of the time available. And those services utilized by the public or not fully utilized or partially utilized. And effectiveness that is the how effective it is. IMR reflect all those things. And it also represent the socio-economic conditions as well as the environmental conditions also in which the children live and including their health care as well as mother's levels of the education, environmental condition, political and the medical infrastructures. IMR reflect and the represent all those things. Child death rate. Child means 1 to 4 years child. Child death rate means total death of 1 to 4 years child in an area and a year and median population of 1 to 4 years child in that same area and the year into 1000. That means for 1000 1 to 4 years child number of the deaths among 1 to 4 years child in that same area and the uh, same year. It excludes the IMR that means IMR means 0 to 1 years but child means 1 to 4 years child so it excludes the IMR. It is considered as an indicator of the health because apart from its correlation with inadequate MCH services it is related to low coverages by the immunization, insufficient nutrition and adverse environmental exposure. Low coverages by the immunization that means the not taken the fully uh, doses of the uh, immunization according to the immunization schedule and insufficient nutrition that means under nutrition it may be under nutrition and it may be over nutrition and adverse environmental exposure. IMR may be more than 10 times higher in the least developed countries but in the child death rate uh, it is uh, 25 times higher it may be as much as 25 times higher in the least developed countries than in the developed countries. So, it indicates the magnitude of the gap and need for the improvement. Under 5 mortality rate. Under 5 mortality rate is the total number of the death of children below 5 years in a given area and a year by total number of the live birth in the same area and in the same year into 1000. If we calculate the under 5 mortality rate in an area and a year, suppose the numerator is 40, but denominator that means the total number of the live birth is 1000 into 1000 equal to 40 per 1000 live birth. So, the under 5 mortality rate in an area and a year that year is 40 per 1000 live birth. In case of under 5 proportionate mortality rate denominator is the different denominator is the total death total death in instead of the live birth. So, the formula of the under 5 proportion and mortality rate is that total number of the death of children below 5 years in a given year and the year by the total death in the same area and that same year. All are the same. The under 5 mortality rate for India in 2020 was 35.73 per 1000 live birth and it reflects the both infant and child mortality rates. Infant means 0 to 1 years and child means 1 to 4 years. So, under 5 means under 5 includes the infant and the child. So, it reflects the both infant and child mortality rates and it is the best single indicator of the health and socio-economic development. Best single indicator of the health that means the it indicates or it reflects the MCA services availability, it MCA services, the utilization, effectiveness, all those things and health condition and also the socio-economic development and the conditions also. 
maternal mortality or death according to who a maternal death is defined as the death of a woman while pregnant or within 42 days of termination of pregnancy and irrespective of the duration and site of the pregnancy from any cause related to or aggravated by the pregnancy or its management but not from the accidental or incidental causes or so maternal mortality but death bolbo amra tokhoni according to who je woman er mrittu je woman er mrittu hoyeche sheti pregnancy er sathe jorito ebong pregnancy er sathe jorito mane sheti antenatal period e mrittu hote pare intranatal e mrittu hote pare during labor ebong postnatal ortha termination of pregnancy er 42 diner moddhe jodi kono mrittu hoy maer ba woman er take amra bolbo maternal death ebong sheti je kono gestational age e hote pare ebong je kono site of the pregnancy te hote pare ortha te ectopic pregnancy jodi hoy taholeo hote pare take amra maternal death bole gonno korbo ebong je kono karon jeta pregnancy er sathe related othoba pregnancy er karone সেই কারণটি বেড়ে গেছে অর্থাৎ অ্যাগ্রাভেটেড হয়েছে তাহলেও সেই মৃত্যুকে আমরা মেটার্নাল ডেথ বলবো এবং তার ম্যানেজমেন্ট প্রেগনেন্সির সময়ে যে কোনো ধরনের ম্যানেজমেন্ট করার সময় যদি তার মৃত্যু হয় তাহলেও আমরা মেটার্নাল ডেথ বলে সেই ডেথকে গণ্য করব কিন্তু এটা কখনোই অ্যাক্সিডেন্টাল অথবা ইনসিডেন্টাল কারণে যদি মৃত্যু হয় তাকে আমরা মেটার্নাল ডেথ বলবো না যেমন কোনো অ্যান্টিনেটাল মাদার রাস্তা দিয়ে আস্তে আস্তে তার রোড ট্রাফিক অ্যাক্সিডেন্টে মৃত্যু হলো তাহলে সেই মৃত্যুরকে আমরা কখনোই মেটার্নাল ডেথ বলে গণ্য করব না এই কারণে যে এটা প্রেগনেন্সির সাথে কখনোই রিলেটেড না এটা একদম আলাদা অ্যাক্সিডেন্ট হয়েছে রোড ট্রাফিক অ্যাক্সিডেন্ট কিন্তু এটা প্রেগনেন্সির কারণে মৃত্যু নয় অথবা প্রেগনেন্সি ম্যানেজমেন্টের সময় কোনো ম্যানেজমেন্ট করতে গেছে কাজ তখন মৃত্যু হয়েছে সেসব নয় সুতরাং এটাকে আমরা মেটার্নাল মর্টালিটি ডেথ বলে গণ্য করব না শুধুমাত্র প্রেগনেন্সির সাথে জড়িত কোনো কারণে মৃত্যু হলে তাহলেই আমরা সেই মৃত্যুকে আমরা মেটার্নাল ডেথ বলে গণ্য করব এবং লেট যে মেটার্নাল ডেথ আমরা ফ্রম ফর্টি থ্রি ডেজ অফ ডেলিভারি টু ওয়ান ইয়ার অর্থাৎ এখানে মেটার্নাল ডেথ আমরা বলছি বিয়াল্লিশ দিনের মধ্যে যদি মৃত্যু হয় তাকে আমরা মেটার্নাল ডেথ বলবো কিন্তু লেট মেটার্নাল ডেথ আমরা কখন বলবো না ফর্টি থ্রি ডেজ অফ ডেলিভারি টু ওয়ান ইয়ার স্ট্যাটিস্টিক্যাল মেজার্স অব দ্য মেটার্নাল মর্টালিটি দে আর আর টু মেজার্স অফ মেটার্নাল মর্টালিটি ওয়ান ইজ রেট অ্যান্ড অ্যানাদার ইজ রেশিও ইন কেস অফ দ্য রেট অ্যান্ড রেশিও the numerator is the same that is the total number of the maternal death in an area and the year here also total number of the maternal death in an area and the year but in case of the rate the denominator is the total number of the women in the reproductive age group and in case of the ratio total number of the live birth in the same area and the year into one thousand or one lakhs where the maternal mortality ratio is low then we use one lakhs because to avoid the fraction and the maternal mortality ratio can be calculated directly from the data collected through the vital registration system household service and other sources and if we calculate the maternal mortality ratio suppose uh the numerator is the total number of the maternal death in an area suppose 50 by the denominator is the total number of the live birth of that area and that year suppose 50000 50000 into 1 lakhs so equal to 100 100 per 1 lakhs 1 lakhs live birth so the maternal mortality ratio of that area and that year is the 100 per 1 lakhs live birth 
I have collected SRS data up to 2018. So according to SRS, the maternal mortality ratio in, in India in 2018 is 113 per 1 lakh live birth and in West Bengal uh, in 2018 98 per 1 lakh live birth. Now I am discussing the three mortality indicators which are very similar to each other but have some differences. Number one disease specific mortality rate, number two proportional mortality rate and number three case fatality rate. Here the numerator is the same uh, but denominator is the different. Number one in case of the disease specific mortality rate, disease specific mortality rate here the total number of the deaths total number of the death from a specific causes or specific disease. In case of the proportional mortality rate, numerator is also the death from a specific disease and in the case fatality rate also it is the death from a particular disease or the specific diseases. So the numerator is the same but the denominator is the different. In case of the disease specific mortality rate, the denominator is the median estimated population into 1000. So if we calculate the disease specific mortality rate, suppose we calculate the mortality rate of the TB, suppose TB, the total number of the death from TB in an area and a year, suppose 20. Suppose 20 by median estimated population, suppose median estimated population of that area and the year 2 lakhs into 1000. So 0 0.1 per 1000 population. So the mortality rate of the TB is 0 0.1 per 1000 population of that area and that year. In case of the proportional mortality rate, the denominator is the, here the total death from all causes in that area and the year. Total death from all the causes, it may be TB, it may be um, malaria, dengue, um, snake bite, rabies, etc. All the causes death from all the causes. So the proportional mortality rate, it is an useful to know what proportion of the total deaths are due to a particular cause. What proportion? It is calculated as a percentage, calculated as the percentage. So it is useful to know what proportion of the total deaths are due to the particular causes. And it indicates the magnitude of the preventable mortality and estimate the burden of that disease. So if we calculate the proportional mortality rate of that TB cases, so suppose of that area and that year the TB number of the deaths from TB 20. But denominator here the total deaths from all causes in that area and the year, that area and that year that means the total death, that area total death suppose 2000 into 100. So proportional mortality rate of TB is 1%. In case of the fatality, case fatality rate, here the case fatality rate, the denominator is the total number of the cases due to that same diseases. Number of the deaths due to a particular causes, it is the numerator and denominator is the total number of the cases, not from the deaths. It is not the death. Here proportional mortality rate, here the total death from all causes. But in case of the case fatality rate, it is the total case of that particular diseases. So it is indicate or it indicates the virulence of that organism. 
virulence of that organism that means the total killing power of that organism virulence of that organism that means the killing power of that organism and it is used to link mortality and morbidity because among the total cases we calculate the number of the total number of the deaths or the rates of the death of that particular diseases and in the case fatality rate for the same diseases may vary in different epidemics because of changes in the agent host and the environmental factors number one example one population consists of 1000 people within 1000 people 400 400 of these people have specified disease and 100 of whom die from the disease so what is the cfr so cfr is 100 divided by 400 into 100 equal to 25 percent because number of the death the formula of case fatality rate that is the number of the death to a particular disease so 100 and divided by number of the cases of that particular disease that is the 400 into 100 equal to 25 percent so case fatality rate is the 25 percent and another example another example that is the another example consists of 1000 pupils here also and here among 1000 pupils 100 of these people have specified disease and 80 of whom die from the disease so what is the case fatality rate so here case fatality rate is the 80 divided by 100 into 100 equal to 80 percent so here formula is used as 80 that means the number of the death to a particular disease 80 and number of the cases of that particular disease that is the 100 into 100 equal to 80 percent so here the incidence is greater here also 1000 people here also 1000 people but here among 1000 people 400 people are affected that is 400 people are cases so incidence is greater here but here 100 only 100 people affected that is the cases but among 100 people 80 80 percent die so here the severity of the disease is greater here 400 incidence is greater but cfr is less but here incidence is not greater but severity of the disease is greater okay case fatality rate typically used in the acute conditions not useful in the chronic conditions and limitation is the time time interval CFR in some diseases that are rabies. Rabies is most virulent. 100%. Yellow fever 80%. J 35%. Chicken pox 1%. TB 5 to 6%. And dengue less than 1%. And severe dengue 2 to 5%. So, these are all about the case fatality rate expectation of life this is one of the positive indicators of health and the increase or decrease in expectation of the life at birth it indicates the improvement or deterioration of the health status of the people respectively and this indicator gets influenced by the high infant and the child mortality rates it is universally accepted indicator it is the 
एवरेज नम्बर अब दर्स ए पार्सन इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू लिव अकॉर्डिंग टू द मर्टालिटी पैटार्न एक्सिस्टेड इन दैट कान्ट्री दैट मीस लाइफ एक्सपेक्टेंसि इज एन एसटिमेशन is an estimate of how long a person born today would live on an average if the current mortality rates in every age group remained constant throughout the person's life life expectancy at birth it always refers unless otherwise specified and this include the risks of infant mortality if we say the life expectancy at the age of 1 years at the 1 years it is the average number of the years a 1 year person is expected to live according to the mortality pattern existing in that country but this exclude the risks of infant mortality it indicate the long term survival and it has a relation between the health status and the expectation of the life that means the health status deterioration means the expectation of the life decreased health status improved that means expectation of the life is improved it is in rational for the use it reflects the overall mortality level of the population and it summarizes the mortality pattern that prevails across all the age groups that means children adolescent adult elderly etc it estimate for both sexes separately male and female and it is a good indicator of the socio economic development that means it is affected by many factors such as socio economic status employment income education quality of the life economic well being and uh, some behaviors that are tobacco and the excessive uh, alcohol consumption poor nutrition lack of exercise lack of clean drinking water uh, adequate uh, inadequate uh, sanitation uh, that expectation of the life um, affect all those factors and life expectancy Uh, india's life expectancy in 2020 which is 69.5 years that means the 69 years and 4 months for men and 72 years for women years of potential life lost it is expressed as the ypln it is based on the years of the life lost through the premature death and it is defined as one that occurs before the age to which a dying person could have expected to survive suppose one person has died premature death at the age of the 30 years but he has expected to survive 70 years so life lost 40 years 40 years so years of the potential life lost is the 40 years at a glance the rates and ratio of various indicators according to srs the crude death rate in india in 2019 six per 1000 population imr infant mortality rate in 2019 30 30 death per 1000 live birth and maternal mortality ratio in india that means the mmr in 2018 113 per 1 lakh live birth so these are all about of the mortality indicators thank you